Konnichiwa, I'm Elbow, and thank you for clicking on this video. If this is your first time discovering Drift Hunter, I actually encourage you to watch this video to see what my channel is all about. On this channel, I'm making a documentary series about the underground street racing and drifting scene here in Japan. If you think what I'm doing is cool, I would love for you to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel. All right, let's jump right into this Instagram story vlog. Remember, you can watch these videos day to day on my Instagram at Drift Hunter Elbow before I upload them here on YouTube. One more thing, remember to comment the secret items that are hidden throughout this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, the thing with these Instagram stories is that they're going to be really raw. There's going to be basically no editing, sometimes no context. So it's probably better if you watch them directly, directly on Instagram like you're probably doing right now. But if you're watching from YouTube, uh, hope you guys still enjoy. So this is a road that I drive by every single day. And of course being Gunma, it's, it's a rice field and there's a tractor and I'm just parked here beside the 7-Eleven but over here is like this beat up old abandoned 11 initial D right? I wonder how long it's been sitting here for it's got Watanabe's in the front and Star Specs in the back so it's a bit of a shame to just leave it here abandoned like this might be somebody's parts car probably doesn't have any shotgun or insurance on it left but so literally you know, just now the owner of this car came by and he was a black guy he abandoned it. apparently this is a parts car it's 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 for sale actually it doesn't have any papers are pretty expensive maybe like 100 130 bucks per month but I'm really lucky because my city gym is only 200 yen or about two bucks per visit so it's really cheap and the great thing about this place is it has an actual squat rack and a real bench press I've been slacking at the gym lately so it's time to get back into it today we're gonna do uh, bench press and we're gonna do only 80 kilograms so got a, got a ways to go before I get back to where I was before but hello That wasn't too bad. Uh, it's really important to get exercise because I basically spend most of my time sitting down and editing and when you edit for that long you kind of go crazy and I feel like working out helps me to release some of that uh, stress. Because this gym is super old, it doesn't have an inclined bench. So what I gotta do is I gotta use this setup thing to do inclined dumbbell presses. If you ask me what my favorite exercise is, I would probably say pull-ups, just because they target you know your whole body, well, except for your legs, and you can really build great all-around strength uh, doing lots of pull-ups. Skia for dinner. So Skia is a beef bowl place and what I always get here is the very yummy, very tasty three cheese gyudon and I always order the nami mori which is only 800 calories. So it's, it's really really yummy plus the Tabasco sauce. So this is what the inside of Skia looks like. Skia is a favorite of salarymen and students because it's fast and it's cheap. It's tasty and yeah really fast I think that's my order right there is coming and already. And here it is, just very simple meal. And this is about six dollars. The nice thing about Japan is you don't have to tip, so this is all you have to pay. Very, very yummy. Just a quick meal. Start with some cheesy goodness. Oishi. Oishi means yummy or delicious. Hey guys, just a quick break from the video. I'd like to take a moment to give a huge thank you and a shout out to my supporters on Patreon. You guys are making it possible for me to continue working on my passion and to make better and better videos for you guys, my biggest fans. 
As you guys know, making great videos takes a lot of time and money, and your support helps with all the costs that they incur, such as transportation, editing and gear costs, music licensing, web hosting, and of course to help offset the cost of my time that goes into making these videos. I would love to work on Drift Hunter full time, and your support is making it more and more feasible to do so. But not only that, with your support, I think it's possible to take Drift Hunter to the next level. My goal is to get Drift Hunter on Netflix and eventually make a big Hollywood movie. I think it's possible with your guys' help, and if you'd like to read more about my plans, I would love for you to check out my Patreon page right here. Once again, thank you so much for your support, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Thanks. Taking some shots with uh, my drone of the car, the Sakura, and the sound that you're hearing right now is it's low battery, so oh, it's landing. Yep, it's gonna land. All right, so here's the drone. It's out of battery now. Lasts about 30 minutes, but it wasn't completely charged when I took it out, unfortunately. But yeah, did the job. I got some shots of the Sakura and the car. And it's a really nice day today. So. Man, it seems like every time I go out to film something, I either don't have space on, on the drone, on the, on the SD card, or the batteries are dead, or my phone batteries are gonna die, or the controlled batteries are gonna die. Every single time, I'm terrible with this. Oh, Mavic Chan. Let's go some of that stuff. That means thanks for your hard work. But wow, it's just such a gorgeous day today. Look at the Sakura, it's, it's so beautiful right now. Look at this gorgeous little path that I found. I love this little wooden fence and the sucker are so pink and so white. This little area just looks straight out of a Ghibli movie, like Spirited Away or something. It's so beautiful. Well, I just realized something. That gorgeous little fence, the wood fence, it's not real wood. It's like plastic or something. Does that mean this whole sucker tree is fake too? Oh my god! For lunch again. I love how cheap the Kaiten Sushi places are. It's only 100 yen for each of these plates. It's super cheap, super delicious. The way it works at the sushi restaurant is you order from this little tablet thing and there's all these different varieties of sushi that you can order. I think I'm gonna order some more salmon and maybe another one. Yeah, so there's my sushi. It's gonna come in this little uh, train thing. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. And when it comes, you take it off the tray. Oh, that was super fast. Both. And you press this to send them back. One interesting thing about living in Japan is when you first move here and you meet people, a lot of them will ask you if you can use chopsticks as if it's an incredibly difficult task. And then when you do proceed to show them that you can't kind of back they're like so the, pro the proper way to eat sushi although to be honest most people don't really care but the proper way is to actually dip your soy sauce dip the fish into the soy sauce backwards like this so the, the rice doesn't get so uh, so I was hoping that you guys could let me know if you're actually enjoying these Instagram stories about just like my daily life and let me know why you're interested in them what makes them interesting uh, just drop a message into my uh, into my DMs slide into my DMs it's uh, some bozuzoku over here. These guys are like super annoying at night, but I think their culture is pretty cool, so whatever. Morning guys, super rainy day today. Right now I'm just working on the Drift Hunter uh, book, and it's coming along. There's a lot to do still, gotta add the pictures and stuff. All right, so here's actually the current draft. I'm, I'm redoing it after I had a massive crash on my hard drive and stuff. So luckily I had some screenshots, but I'm redoing it in InDesign so you can kind of see what I was going for. And the next version is gonna be much better. It's kind of like a photo book. All right, so one of the first things I do in the morning when I wake up is just to clear my head, I play some tunes on the piano. So I'll just play you guys a quick, uh, a quick melody. This is a song called Kiseki by a Japanese group called Green. If you guys know this one, you might know it if you're like a fan of RPGs like me. Just playing by 
here, so it's not that great. I get a surprising number of questions from people asking me what I eat for breakfast and stuff. And usually I'll just have like coffee and a protein shake. Today I'm feeling some cereal, so I think I'll add some fruit granola and make a sandwich for later. I'm gonna head to the gym and I got some stuff to do. So, yep. Look at this supreme bowl. Don't ask me why I have this. Maybe the next thing you're wondering is what I have in my fridge. Well, the answer is not too much. Let's see, just some leftovers, juice, tea, cheese, eggs, bread, ham, and uh, sausage. More eggs, coconut milk, and Hachiroku, <laughs> Hachiroku soy sauce. I'm just got my sandwich over here. I'm just gonna heat this up. Rain day. I'm just heading to the gym and to dry cleaner. So this guy has the most mint Thai bar I've seen in a while. Lives just around the street, around the corner uh, from my street. <clears throat> oh man, it's super rainy. Look how narrow these uh, little roads are. I can barely squeeze my roaster between these roads. Hey guys, just a couple more things before the end of the video. Once again, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please give my channel a chance and watch a couple more of my videos. Next, recently YouTube has made a bunch of changes. So even if you've subscribed to my channel, there's a good chance you're not getting notified whenever I put out a new video. There's a couple of ways around this. You can click on the little bell icon beside the subscribe button at the bottom of this video, and you'll get notified as soon as I put out a new video. The second way, and I think the better way, is if you actually sign up for my mailing list, which you can find by clicking on this card or going to this link or going to the link in the description box down below. And if you sign up for my mailing list, I'll send you an email as soon as I put out a new video. Not only that, I'll send you an ebook that I wrote called Drift Hunter Origins, which is the story of how I came to Japan and started working on this project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoy the rest of it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again, and see ya. Almost everybody hangs their clothes out to dry outside instead of using a dryer. But because it's raining super hard today, I'm just gonna use the uh, dry cleaning place or the laundromat place. All right guys, check this out real quick. Got a couple 10 yen coins here, okay? So, I'm just gonna take this coin here, take the other one in this hand, and watch this. Magic.